everybody, welcome back. Uh, I took a couple, back, a couple of steps back this way because uh, I had laid this down here. And I got that working okay. But I couldn't run... I couldn't run the trains through here, so I had a, I had no power here. I wasn't sure why, because those two are the exact same switch. I don't have any problem with those. Those have power to here and here, no problem. This one I was having problems with, so I soldered a wire from here to here. That fixed it. But, when I was running the trains through here, it would derail every time. Because I had the temporary trackage in here, and that was higher. The roadbed was higher on that than the cork. So, this wasn't sitting flat, and this wasn't sitting flat. So, I had to take everything up flatten everything out, make sure it was perfect, and lay it back down. And then, of course, I had to take out that temporary piece of track I had in there and fix that. And then I started running this down here, and I had the same problem. It kept wanting to derail when it was going over the the road here. We just crawl up the track right off right off the side. I checked the wheels, and the only thing I can think of is that the rail wasn't perfectly flat. It was dipping down on the outside rail, and it was just going right off. But it was, it's a brand, it's a new locomotive, it's a Bachman. But I don't know if it's got stiff trucks or whatever, but it would just, every time it would just come right off the rail. So I tore out the switch that was here, because that was a, a runaround. So I took the switch out here, took all the ballast out, <laughs> laid it flat. And remove that. And then now I think I'm just going to... I left the other half. So I think I am going to make this cold storage warehouse. Leave all that. It's going to be pretty big. I don't know if I'll come all the way out to the road or not. I think that's going in there. And then after I got that done, I started working more on my lights. Like, I, don't know if, I don't know if I had that in there or not yet. Just, but I added power to it. And then I started adding lights to the, the garage. And some street lights. And I added some lights over here to the parking lot. And I put everything down there. And then this I had lit, but I hadn't, hadn't ran any wires to it, so I ran the wires to that. And I'm going to have to work on that one a little bit. It's bright. <laughs> well, let me turn off the lights. I dim them. It won't take. It won't take very good. But it won't take very good video in the dark, but now here's the the garage. I don't know if I'm gonna have to put something in the windows, tone that down a little bit. Uh, I think it's 
looking pretty good. Lights with the parking lot. There's a depot. I think that turned out pretty good. And then now there's let's see. Now there's six blue. Well, they're white LEDs, but they have a bluish cast. And then inside is just uh, strip lighting. And then these are just more of those lights from the, uh, the Christmas lights. And there's a boiler house. But I'm getting... You see I'm getting a lot of light coming out of there. So I'm going to try the Woodland Scenic stuff. Not their stuff exactly, but I, I bought some window tint. At the, um, the home store. And I bought some parchment paper for baking. I'm going to see if that's going to work or not. And there's the... Right over there, that... That one building, that's really bright. I'm going to see if I can... It's running on 4.5 volts. That's what the... Uh, that's what the uh, transformer is. I wonder if I can run that on three volts, get that brightness down a little bit. I mean, it looks okay on the layout. It just when you're filming it, it looks a little bright. So, so. well, that's what I've been working on. I'll talk to you later. Bye.